It's an early start for Sergio Lorente. He's one of the drivers hired by Madrid-based company Discarlux to make sure Spanish restaurants get their regular supplies of meat, chorizo and sausages. His industry has been hit hard in recent months. Half the country's truck drivers are self-employed and have gone on strike recently to protest the 40% increase in fuel prices in the last year alone. Transport costs are set to get even higher. This year, the government will put in place plans to reduce their carbon emissions by over 20% by the end of the decade. Pay tolls will be slowly introduced on all major intercity motorways and connecting roads by 2023. Seguro que nos va a afectar, seguro que nos va a afectar y tenemos que sumarlo a otros paquetes como la subida de combustible, a otros tipos de, de transporte, porque nosotros tanto enviamos como recepcionamos, con lo cual seguro que vamos a tener que incrementar algunos algunos precios. Now the timing of the decision has been questioned by many within the industry. Those in government say that it's a necessary step to allow Spain to meet its EU targets for greenhouse gas emissions. However, for those workers whose livelihoods depend on transport, their ever-decreasing profit margins mean that they think that this is a step too far. Environmentalists have largely welcomed the proposals. In Europe, the Spanish pay around 70% less than other countries that use tolls. It's hoped that it may encourage more use of public transport on trains and buses, which have seen a large drop during the pandemic. However, experts believe they should keep their options open when looking to reduce their carbon footprint. Que si hay que poner alguna carga impositiva, se pusiera previamente. Es decir, aquellos vehículos más contaminantes, aquellos vehículos de tipo diésel, etcétera, tuvieran un impuesto superior, pero ya de entrada se movieran por donde se moviera. Probablemente esto podría tener mejor efecto. The government has been challenged on this by both sides of the political divide. They may have to consider concessions for an industry that has been badly hit. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez and his coalition can expect some tough questions ahead before they get the green light on any new legislation.